Hello dancers! I hope you are safe and you are healthy when you're watching this little video about what I bought a while ago at Decathlon, which is a very prominent and very good sports um, shop, supply shop in the Netherlands and many other countries, uh, France and Belgium to name a few. And I uh, already did an unboxing video about uh, the material I bought uh, regarding for ballet specifically, uh, but that I did that in Dutch and there were a few people who asked uh, if I could do something similar again about these products in English. So here I am um, at home in my bedroom. I'm going to show you what I bought from Decathlon and tell you uh, what I think about it, my experiences with them, and I hope it will help you. All right, have fun. All right, so let's start. Here you see the stuff that I bought from Decathlon. I've put them out on my bed. Um, excuse me for the creases and everything. I yeah it doesn't look so great uh, all right let's focus on the stuff i bought <laughs> uh you see a leotard i have a black tights pink tights um leg warmers and something extra there in that bag over there so uh let's begin piece by piece so let me get this out of the way and we start with the nice beautiful leotard all right, so they have a little kind of sleeve going on here, which I really love. This is a really nice see-through material, see? And this is stretch lycra and moves all the way down here. All right, let me show you the back, which is really beautiful. And there we go. The back is a little bit lower, as you can see. And... Which, uh, what I also like is that here in the inside, there, there is an extra layer going on here. See, there's two layers of fabric, which I really like. All right, so um, I don't know specifically if it is really fit for uh, ballerinas who are wearing uh, sport bras or bras underneath. I am a, a tiny busted ballerina, so I don't put anything underneath here and it works out really great for me. What I loved about this is the motif here and I really love this color. It is one of my favorite colors and I can combine it with um, a black skirt or I even have the same kind of reddish purple skirt from a different uh, brand and it is beautiful. In a few moments, I'll uh, add in a little clip uh, from a video I made with the material on me in the studio so you can see what it looks like. <laughs> Speaking of other things, excuse me for my in quarantine nails. Great. Ah, we're all in this together, right? We will get through this. We will be okay. Um, like I said, the material is really nice. It is stretchy and it absorbs your sweat and um, I wash it by hand and then I just hang it somewhere to dry and it's a really great leotard. I'm really happy with this. It cost me uh, 16 euros 99. All right. Hop, next. Next is a simple black leotard. I have used this leotard now for a few weeks and I really like it. There are still no holes in them. It is still really nice, really good elastic. Uh, washing them with, by hand, hanging them next to, next to the leotard. No complaints whatsoever. This is awesome. It cost me 9.99 euros. All right.
Moving on to the pink tights. I have chosen to take tights with feet. Because when I'm teaching ballet, I have teaching sandals also. And sometimes uh, I like to have something in the shoe to not have these really cold feet. Uh, Alright, and this one actually I didn't put on yet. Because in the winter I prefer, which is of course completely my own choice, I prefer to wear black. And when the sun is going to shine like today, I'd like to wear pink, but obviously I don't think I'm going to put this on while training in my home. We'll see. Uh, it does feel like the same material. I did put it on and it feels like the same material as the black tights. So I imagine that I'm going to be very happy with this one too. The price was, let me check, $6.99. All right. Oh, and... Um, my height is 1 meter 74, so what is that? Is that 510? I'm not sure, we'll need to look that up. You can do that as well for yourself. Um, so, 174 centimeters and I bought large or an extra large? Let me see, let me check. Mm hmm because my legs are quite long, so I always take one or two sizes bigger. Yeah, extra large. There we go. Good. Because nobody wants to have tights that are hanging in your crutch, right? Yeah. Alright. I had so much fun with these. I love the color and I love the, really, the, the pattern in it. See? It is wool. And it has some stretch here and all the way down it looks kind of the same so it really doesn't matter which way is up which way it's down and um, by using them a lot this comes loose a little bit but it doesn't really bother me it's okay um, they are really nice and tight they are a good fit and they keep me so nice and warm love them so, uh, and the height of the leg warmers is, uh, it comes um, from my ankle to my, uh, just underneath my, uh, my knees, to give you an idea. All right. And now, last but not least, point shoes from Decathlon. Good. All right. I was very surprised to see that they offered them and um, at 39.99 euros, I thought it would be a good idea to purchase them and to try them myself because I anticipate to get questions from uh, students of mine and I want to give them a really good answer by having the product and try them out myself. All right, so they come in this nice bag over here, which is really nice. Just tie them here together. Pretty. And very handy to put in your bag. Then the point shoes themselves. They already come with the elastics and with these bands. Which is kind of awesome in my opinion. And they have a nose. Yes. Alright, let's start with the... Let's turn them around. Here, there's an elastic here. They already sawn it on for you here, which I'm going to attach over here. So now you can also see that I still did not test them out into in the studio. I have been really, really busy uh, working on other projects. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> we'll fix that. But now for this video, it was very handy because I can show you guys how they came out of the box. So, I'm going to attach this one here, obviously, focus, there we go. These ribbons are very special too, let me lay it out, because they're a piece of elastic here, you see it? And I am used to the satin ribbons, but this is not, this is a different fabric. But I can imagine that this maybe might grip a little better. Focus. 
is grip a little better uh, at your tights we will see that all right inside it's nice and I'm having trouble focusing here yeah there we go all right the inside is a good inside sole nothing wrong with that and like I said they've also already attached a nose so you don't have to saw them yourself or uh, stick a, a little uh, suede nose on it glue it on you don't have to do that they did that for you that looks really neat yes there you go this is the outside sole and uh, you can see the size uh, my normal street size shoes are 37 European uh, size uh, Dutch size and I've taken one size up and they are good fit for me all right now I'll need to figure out to put the phone which uh, I'm filming this with uh, on the on a surface to show you something while holding this with two hands yeah so all right see you in a bit all right so here I am back again and um, let's have them in one hand so this is our point shoe Good. Now in the nose, I'm gonna go in there right now, is a little gooey thingy. Here we go. This. See? This is in the nose. This is soft and it's kind of plastic, rubbery, but very... See? It is in the nose. All right, let's put it back in. Fits perfectly. Ah, and to tell you that uh, this is just elastic here. Yeah, so you can tighten it or make it looser to your fit. All right, uh, the point shoes come just with one width. So it either fits for your foot or it doesn't. Now on the website when you click for these point shoes, it specifically says that it are point shoes for beginners. Beginners in point shoe. Yeah, not beginners in ballet. You need to have, always you need to have a strong basis in ballet and understanding in ballet and really strong muscles to start with uh, point shoes. Yeah, that's really, really important. If you, when you are a beginner, in point shoe dancing then according to Decathlon this shoe would be very appropriate for you to start with and I agree with them why because they are soft and nice fitting when I bend this shoe you can see how soft they are look see this so these shoes actually are more like demi points than point shoes that is why they are appropriate to start with because you can really practice rolling down with the feet and rolling up with the feet and developing your strength underneath the arch i do not believe that these would be uh, great for an uh, professional dancer uh, who would go on stage every night <laughs> obviously those dancers have their preferred brand and the preferred width and strength of the shoe the shank and everything to pull, really perfect uh, and, and support them to be the awesome ballet dancer they, they, they are I would recommend these for my recreational dancers who dance maybe one or two classes per week uh, under the supervision of a professional dance teacher of course always do not go and attempt to try it out on your own at home because you may result in injuries 
And the last thing I want to tell you what I'm gonna do is I still want to saw this on and then go try them out in uh, in a studio. But I think obviously it will be um, saw it on and then just try them on here at home. And I will make another video about that and tell you what I think. All right. That's it for today. If you have any questions about uh, the material I bought from Decathlon, uh, go ahead and ask me. And uh, see you in a new video.